Hey guys, I'm Aaron and welcome to Aaron Plays Fun Fact. Today is a special episode. I'm inviting all of you to this awesome event that happens soon in Quebec. First, let's take a look at this video clip. Well, that's my first ever YouTube video. As you can see, I was much younger and it was two years ago. I did an interview for my mom's channel, Channel CC. If you want to check the whole video out, it's in the link down below. Anyways, I went to this expo three days in a row. I had lots of fun trying different products, talking to very interesting people, and discovered some very, very cool and healthy stuff and brought some home. This event is called Expo Manger Santé et Vivre Vert. The mission is to increase awareness about the importance of our eating habits and lifestyles in regards to our health and environment. I'm very excited to be invited for this event as media this year. And yes, you're gonna see me and my crew at this expo on March 20th at Montreal Exhibition Center. As you can see, I did that video with my friend Katiana and today I invited her for our show. Surprise! Yay! Hi Katiana, welcome to my show. Hi Erin, hi guys. I'm so glad to be on Erin Plays Fun Fact. Welcome, welcome. We really had fun at this event two years ago, right? Yes, yes we did. But today, since I prepared some questions for the event, I hope you have all the answers and all the fun facts. No problem, I'm all yours. Test me. Okay, okay. Question one. Name of the expo is actually French. Um, it's called Expo Manger Santé et Vivre Vert. Um, what does it mean in English? It means Expedition of Healthy Eating and Green Living. It's an event to promote healthy eating, a natural health and ecology. Okay, um, question two. Who is the founder of this event? In the fall of 1997, Madame René Frappier, author and professor of healthy and natural food, initiates this great event. Since then, Expo Manger Santé Vivre Vert is there every year. Hopefully, we'll get to meet Madame Frappier at the Expo. <laughs> question three. Um, what can we expect from this Expo? Wow, it's definitely going to be a full three-day event. First, there are hundreds of passionate experts divided into three categories. Healthy food, natural health, and ecology. Second, there are delicious food tasting for foodies like me to make discovers. Remember last time we tried so many different food and there was some weird stuff because we're not used to the different tastes and textures and some were really good. Yeah, I really love that part. Can you tell us more about this tasting? Sure, sure. This expo offers hundreds of different tastings to our visitors. Remember we tasted so many healthy syrup and nut butters? And vegan cheese and sausage. And black garlic. Mm -hmm. What's the weirdest thing you tasted there? Oh, I remember. It was the cricket product. Yeah, it's made with real crickets. And Canadian farm crickets actually, and organic Canadian farm crickets, yeah. Now, question number five. I know there will be many conference and cooking demonstration. Is there any special activity this year? Yes, at the expo there are many educational stages. They invited many famous speakers on some trendy topics. This year there is an artisan baking contest called Meilleur 
artisans, boulangers, utilisant des produits biologiques. From 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. on Friday, March 20th in Montreal. If you love baking, you can't miss this. There's also a cooking championship, the vegetable dessert of the decade, to promote local plant-based cuisines. It will be hosted by the founder René Frappier on 10.30 a.m. on Saturday, March 21st. Question number six. Since there are many tasting opportunities and lots of people will eat at the cafeteria, what happens to the waste material generated at the expo? This event is eco-responsible. The expo team strives to create a large-scale public event with the least possible impact at the environment. All the items used for food tasting are compostable. Question 7. How much do tickets cost and where can we buy them? If you don't want to wait the long line at the ticket table, you can always buy online in the link down below. If you decide to purchase on site, a normal ticket will be $15, $12 for students or seniors, and it's for free if you're under 16. So it's a pretty good deal if you're asking me. For group tickets or other ticket related questions, you can call this number directly here. Okay, so question eight. Because it's cold in Quebec, we're gonna wear a jacket. Is there a clock room and How much is it? Yes, there is a cloakroom in each city. It's highly suggested that you leave your cloak in the cloakroom because, well, you're gonna enjoy tasting food, learning stuff at the expo more. It's $3 a day in Montreal, $2.50 for Quebec and Sherbrooke. So, question 9. Um, if we want to buy something on site, uh, do exhibitors accept debit and credit cards? Some exhibitors accept credit card, some accept debit card, some are not equipped with machines. So it's always good to bring some extra cash if you want to get something. Or there are ATMs in the expo or in the lobby. You never know, maybe you're gonna find something interesting at the expo you'll want to bring home. Okay, so question 10, the most important, is there Wi-Fi at the expo? In Montreal, there is no Wi-Fi in the event, but there is Wi-Fi on the ground floor. There are Wi-Fi network everywhere inside the Centre des Congrès, both in Quebec and Sherbrooke. Wow, Erin, you do know a lot of fun facts. And it seems like you're ready for this event. Yes, I'm ready to go and explore some new products this year. And we invite you to join us for this event. We'll be on this event on Friday and Saturday. If you see us, please come and say hi. I'd love to meet you in person and get to know you. Yes, I'm excited to work with Erin again. And remember to subscribe to Erin's channels, like and share. Leave a comment if you have more questions. Well, I guess I'll see you guys in the expo.